Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll be talking about GTK Box. Now, in the last video, I mentioned uh, about it, but what I didn't say was that GTK Box is a type of layout manager, and what that is is basically it holds all the widgets for you. You can customize it. You can, you know, do fancy stuff with it, with the widgets, manipulate them, and all that. So that's what it is. It's a layout container. That's what it's called in Bala. They're containers. And box is not the only type of container. For example, uh, let me show you guys. There you go. Layout container. You see right here, um, these are all containers. You know, grid, revealer, list box, and they all have their own purpose. But yeah. Also, um, to know what methods each one has, there there's an online thing. So just go to baladoc.org right there. And right here it has everything. So if I want to search for GTK box, I'll just type gtk.box. And oh wow. GTK.box. There we go. And voila, I get everything. All the information I want to know about it. All the methods, uh, what it inherits and all that good stuff. It's constructor and all that. So for this tutorial, I just grabbed this chunk of code pasted it in there and I'm going uh, to basically walk through with it and instead of a GTK label I use a button because that's easier well I think it's easier to understand once I start doing some other things alright beginning so first off how do you initialize a box simple that's how you do GTK box let's just name it box equals this so what it takes in is an orientation so either vertical or horizontal and then the next value is the spacing between um, between its widgets. Now let's see. Uh, hmm. All right. Next. So you want to start having multiple widgets, of course. And then how you do that is you do the box and then pack start. Basically, meaning I want you to add from the beginning. There is also a pack end. That you can start adding from the beginning as well so first off what this uh, parameter what this method takes in is the object that you want to pack so obviously the button and then two booleans and then an int the first bool boolean is whether you want the button to basically be proportional to the window expand um, keep its place so for example if I have a button in the middle and I shrink and grow the, uh, the window the button will always stay in the middle depending on uh, for example if it's vertical it will always be vertically in the middle so yeah now the false is whether to take up all the space it can for, for example if you just have one button and you have this for uh, and you have this to true it will take up all the space it can so basically the whole window yeah that's how it is and then the next one is basically the amount of padding that you want for the for the window I mean for the widget yeah so for example oh actually no it's for padding so for the next one so these two buttons are basically the same thing you create two buttons you we say that we don't want it to be proportional to the window and we also do not want it to take up it any available extra space and also we want zero padding for it now for the third button the only thing that's different is the fact that we said uh, that yes stay proportional to the window keep its place so now to so now we have the box all set up and we add it and now if we go to the shell and we run it there you go now let's see see how the three is keeping its place no matter how it grows you see and these two are just you know just right there because we told it you know don't keep it don't keep your place don't take up any extra space so they're just right there minding their own business and three right here so now if we set the boolean to true where it takes up all the space you see all of this right here and right here it'll actually be all of the button so let's go do that to see how it looks so where is it at? Oh shoot, what I do? Okay, um run it and as we grow, also the button should grow too. Bam, you see that? Everything. 
Okay. Now, let's see. If we do all of these to true, they should all be equally one-third. They should all have one-third of the window for themselves. Now, moment of truth. Bam. You see? One-third. Done, done, done. And also, if we change all of these to true as well, oops, what I do? And it should grow, it should be proportional to the window and also take up all the space. So this window, no matter what size, no matter where, which position you're in, you'll always be inside a button. So let's see that for ourselves. You see, button one, button two, and button three. Damn. So now um, let's change them back to false. Now we have false. All of them should just stick to the top and uh, just stay right there and do nothing. So if we run it, no matter if we grow the window or not, they'll always just be right there. You see? Won't grow. All of this extra space. Yada yada. Nothing. So now, um, let's see. So now we're back to normal, right? So to prove it, let's run it. How it was in the beginning. Yada yada. Now there's something, This is since this is just an intro, there are a lot more methods that you can use. And a lot more um, combinations, you know, that you can try out. One, uh, one extra thing that I want to show is this one box dot set homogeneous homogeneous I think that's how you spell it homoge no homogeneous ah oh, yes I don't know yeah well the compiler will tell me and you'll see what it does oh look at that even though we put false in it when we added these um, uh, buttons, if we set homogeneous to true, what that basically does is it gives all the widgets inside equal space among the window. So yeah, so you can kind of overwrite in a way. So yeah, look at that. Homogeneous. Alright, let's take it off. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. Also, I just want to show real quick the pack end method. So pack end, if we do that. So now the button should be reversed. Instead of one, two, three, it should be three, two, one. Yeah, look at that. I did not lie. Look at that, bam. So yeah, that's just a really simple introduction. There's a lot more that can go along with it, but uh, yeah, you guys can look at the docs if you want. Um, yeah, that's it. Also, uh, one thing I tried out, I'm trying out a new theme in Emacs, so I'm not sure how it looks on YouTube or on recording. I probably should have done that first, uh, but uh, oh well. So if you can't see, just let me know. All right, thank you.